Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. Um, so, I'm back in this area of the southern province, area one, because I realized that I forgot to catch a Pokemon. Drowsy. I'm gonna try a little scratch. Okay, pound. Now I'm gonna use one of the Pokeballs. Okay, it's gonna catch. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, now we have, I'm pretty sure, all of the Pokemon I can currently get. When it twitches its nose, it can tell where someone is sleeping and what that person is dreaming about. <laughs> and then your TV says a Pokemon. Some, yeah, here is. So basically, this is a gimme ghoul. And it's roaming form. They are scattered across. They're scattered all over Paldea, and you need to find them in order to get their coins so you can actually evolve a Gimme Ghoul that you catch. So um, I don't think you can find a catchable Gimme Ghoul around here, because in its roaming form you can't catch him unless you're playing Go, Pokemon Go that is. There's another one. Alright. Any more? No. Wait, what ghastly can spawn here? Oh, it's probably a night exclusive. Oh, that door was so weird. Are you a trainer? Yes. Stop wondering what's behind that weird door or lid or cover or whatever that was. Maybe a battle will take my mind off of it. Axel the student. Ooh, a squawk ability. See, so yeah, we saw this in the opening scene. Dang, there are a lot of drowsy. Why would you go for a quick attack and not, like, a super effective move? Ooh. Nice. Miss. Okay. Alright. I think I'm gonna finish this off with a leafage. <laughs> I wonder where I can find Squawkabilly. Nice. Ooh, magical leaf. Okay. Also, yeah, you can ask your Pokemon for advice on what move to forget. On what moves to forget. Just what could be behind that? Whoa, wait, I lost? Oh, bummy. Ooh, a leopard berry. I don't think you get access to nighttime encounters until later on in the game, though. Wait, I forgot. Did we already catch a king? So I know Hapini can be found around here as well. Okay, let's see. Notes. Ooh, a glade. Yeah, drowsy and it's gonna be hypno. Yeah, here's Squawk Billy. What's this? Oh, it's a Grumpig. 
Ooh, mischievous. Huh. Cannot be found near here. And no, it does not look like I have caught uh, a happy me. Oh. I don't think I can get up there yet. Aha, there's one. Backtrack? No. Now, Hapini is actually a bit difficult to catch. Oh no. Banger. This theme is a banger. And nice, we caught it. Alright, bye. Yep, yeah, there's another Pokemon in the Pokedex. Alright. I'm asking you for advice. Alright, sure, we can do that. It carry, carefully carries around a round white rock that it thinks is an egg. It's bothered by how curly its hair looks. So now we don't really need to worry about catching anything else. Ooh, that's a cool fight. Peony, of course. And, ooh, Chansey. Wait, why, why was I like, ooh. The birds. Go. Paladay and Uber. We shall go on an epic quest. It's you and me. Okay, that's your ball. Oh, wait, I, I want to edit my trainer profile. So, um, hey, no, spaghetti dough. Okay, this seems pretty good. Okay, wait. No. Oh, wait. 
the photo. Oh, I need to press A. That's pretty good though. Wait oh, yeah, I see some Pokemon down there, like a Wingo. Darn I can't reach them. for some experience. Right after healing up. Yes, they are. I'm gonna choose text speed. Yay. Okay, thank you. Yes, I knew about locking on. Yeah, I think I already got the gift Pikachu. So I can't miss out on a dex entry. Alright. Time to catch some new Pokemon. and some fletchling. Huh? Wait. I think I know that cry. Mm. <gasps> yes, I don't! <laughs> something up about that cry. Oh no. Okay. Catch the school of it. Catch the school of it. Nice. No matter how much it stuffs its belly with food, it is always anxious about getting hungry again, so it stashes a so it stashes berries in its cheeks and tail.
Gotta love school zip. Here comes a challenge at present time. You want to challenge me with Pokemon Battle, right? Hello to the student. Oh, this is where you can see down sweet. Train, ba trainer battles are pretty helpful for seeing Pokemon to the Pokedex. Also, Wooper just one shot that thing with a critical hit. Oof, I stepped up and got smacked down. And Steeny. Hello, Hobbit. Where's that other? <gasps> Wait, no. So it might attack. But won't Tail Whip lower Peach's defense? It does. So it neutralizes it. <laughs> Try it with thunder shot against the weakness, you, you stupid oh. What's wrong with you, stupid oh? Twice in a row. What is up with the AI in this game? Oh. I'm still catching you. Yeah, I caught a Pichu. Despite this Pokemon's cute appearance, those who want to live with one should prepare to be on the receiving end of its electric jolts. The light of a Pichu in my house. Let's see, who's in this? Oh, Marshold. So you can't find them in the wild. Yeah. Heading back to the Pokemon Center. Wait, you can find Bounceweed on this route? For two Pokemon, um, Bounce Sweet and another one. These are just birds in a bug. Wait, birds aren't gonna eat the bug. Ooh, uh. Oh, 
Well, that one's not sleeping. There's a scatterbug here, too. Full heel. Metal claw. I'm gonna revive. Oh wait, no, this is back in the town. Now this should be easy to catch. Oh, wait, no, it's a baby Pokemon. Baby Pokemon do not end up being easy to catch. Oh. Well, that takes away my worries. Bonsly Tears. <gasps> I hear a bounce weight. From its eyes, it can expel excess moisture from its body. This liquid is similar in composition to human sweat. I do not care. Like, honestly, I just don't. But I heard a bounce weight cry. Where is it? It did sound pretty distant, though. I hear it again! I guess I pull it from that. Wait, no, that does. Oh, well, there's the other Pokemon I'm looking for. Wait. Oh, hello. Oh, Shirtle! Whoa! Well, wait, is this gonna one shot? Is this gonna one shot the Shrudel? Ooh, it almost did. <laughs> the Peach was scared. Poor thing. Okay. Away from its territory, it paints markings around its nest using a poisonous liquid that has an acrid odor. Mm. Boom. Anyway, where is the bound sweet? I heard a question mark. Maybe it's a bound sweet? No, just another shadow. What is it? It's a spupa! Oh, don't even think about it. You know, I'm sure I can just catch with a Pokeball. Whoa, what was that? This is gonna be harder than that. Well, Harden doesn't save you from special attacks, you know?
get mud shot in. Now I think I'm gonna go for a poison tail. Okay, got it down into the red. Oh, that was held in Looper's feet. I thought it was a different Pokemon. I thought it was just like another random Pokemon that I was like, wait, what, what is that? Spiva doesn't live in a fixed location. It roams where it pleases across the fields and mountains, building up the energy it needs to evolve. It is so fluffy. Anyways, where is the bound sweet? Is the bound sweet even real? I mean, I know it's real. Darn you, Shrewdle. Is that another? Oh, it's a scatterbug. Shrewdle, Fletchling. Wait, what is that? Is that something over there? No. Oh, maybe that was a Pokemon over there. Darn. The fact that I can't even find a bound suite right now. Oh wait, there's also Combi. There's a Psyduck. <gasps> Darn it, it's a Bond's lie. What is that? Oh, it's a sun kern. Hmm? Ah. <laughs> oh. Almost ran into the scatterbug there. I heard it! I heard a bound sweep. <gasps> They're a combi! No! No, Spupa, no! Get back here! I'll have to sell for a male because it doesn't look like any of them are female. Oh god, it's floating again! The trio is together from birth. It constantly gathers nectar from flowers to please Vespaquen. To find a bone sweet. I mean, seriously, why is this so hard? Wait, I can also check out the combi's foreheads. See if there are any females at the bottom. Oh, God! Nothing. 
Fletchling, 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 Fletchling. And then there's a Happini. Yet there's still no bound sweet. And that's just Pony. How? How is this even possible? I literally just cannot talk. Like, no, no, no. I literally just cannot find a bound suite. You've got two? Two what? I got two whole Pokemon. Am I cool or what? I have only 20. Pair of the student. Oh wait, I might actually be over 30. A zero. Alright, I have super effective moves against this. Okay, a zero is down. Ooh, this person has a hound out. I think I should give Palmy some love. It's not going to be on the team permanently. Just for now. Get Electro Whip. Whoa, my two Pokemon. Oh wait, yeah, I haven't seen a Houndour yet until that battle. I know. I know, like this also works. Yeah, I have 31 Pokemon. Oh, is this gonna be, yeah, it's Palmot. And Yeah, I caught Spew <laughs> with the rough foot. Oh, Vivian. Vespiquen. This is Pachirisu and Grafai. And yeah, that's it. Now I have to find a Oh, gimme ghoul. Gimme the ghoul. Get above. Paying the school. That time you battle a fellow like me on your way to school? Ruben the janitor. A gulpin. That's a scarlet exclusive. Wait, it's poison versus poison. Except I have mud shot. Huh? Well, that sucks. Doesn't do much damage. Wait, actually? Being honest, I was not expecting that. But given how it's stab and super effective, 
Probably should have. Safe trip then. Hmm. Oh wait, that's a pop. Another surskit. And it makes sense for some to be available here, but I don't see any. Guess they're just not out right now. I was like, what, is that a hound tower? But then I realized that it was a shrewdel. Secret passage I had found earlier. Darn, that's a scatterbug. I don't think it was over this way. Oop, there's a trainer here. What a cool Pokemon! Let me show you this awesome looking Pokemon I just caught. Okay, youngster, we go. There's a Patrice! Oh, true. Oh, that battle from that one trailer. But I just saw a Pachirisu climb up a tree. So let's get this done quick. Okay, we got, we got it done quick. Thank you. I guess just looking cool doesn't cut it. Where did you go? Aha, there you are. <gasps> it's just like, okay, I'm gonna fall off this tree now. Bye bye. That's nice quick attack. Okay. I will not use Mud Shot or Poison Tail, though. No. Don't. Okay. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball, and it's gonna catch it. Oh, thank God. A pair may be seen rubbing their cheek pouches together in an effort to share stored electricity. I have 32 Pokemon now, jeez. Wait, Gulpin, yeah. So this is Basculin and Swalot. What? Wait, is Gulpin the Violet exclusive? 
Ooh, the Dene. Wait, the Pikachu clones are just together? Besides Pommy. Of course. Cherry berry. Hmm. Maybe yeah, there's something up there. Can I check the map again though? Hmm. My dad sneezed. Oops. Where can you? Whoa! I heard it. I heard a bound sweet. It's gotta be down there, right? Oh! I know what that is. John, is there a slope for me to just slide down on? No, at this rate, the bound sweet's gonna despawn. Oh, this seems good. Yeah. The trunk. That's just another scuba. There's a scatter button that's a lit There's a hopper. Bound Sweet is also pretty small though. Oh, that's a Paldan Whooper. Hmm? Oh, another Lich Honk. <gasps> Bounce Weed. I hear it. It is so close. I am hearing one. So close to here. Where is it? The whooper is already gone. I heard it. That is a shrewdel. Spawned. No. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Sweet, 
and spawn. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. It's very close. A balance suite of all things should not be this hard to find. Some of those Christ, I don't even know what they are. Destination to right here. Whoa! What do you mean I couldn't get away? Let me hear out! Okay, there we go. So wait, if I stand here. Whoa! First things first, I'm um, gonna you know, get to the destination I set. Whoa! There's a whooper. Darn it, that's a shrewdle. It's another shrewdle. Oh, it's just another. <gasps> Search kit! Fight. 
Fido. Go. I haven't gotten much time to shine. Bite. Nice. Yes. Got it. We caught the surskit. It secretes a thick, sweet-scented syrup from the tip of its head. It lives on weed-choked ponds. Okay. So, um, uh, unless we can find a bounce suite on the way back, what we're gonna do is just go to the Pokemon Center. Hold on. Something up here? No. But how the heck is Bounce Suite so rare? Oh, now you show up! Now you show up! capture too. What? What? A greedent drawn in by the scent, sweet scent of these Pokemon will tuck the bound sweet in among the berries in its tail and carry them all the way. That took me so long. Like my was was it scared of the whooper? Was it scared of whooper? Th that's that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I already did that. But oh god! Finally I can progress with the story! Oh my god! Azumaro? And a masquerade. Okay. What the? Oh, well, maybe that was just a bounce sweep that had wandered into town? Go beat up the pit. That's not what I meant. But my spring at Tito is very close to evolving. That's how long I've been in the tutorial area. I want to check something. Check the terra types. Oh, give me ghoul. These rocks are not steep. And 
give me the coins. So I'm gonna heal up at this Pokemon Center real quick, just so I can get... Wait, I just realized I can get... I can get a special item. Yes, I know about mouse outbreaks. Also, yeah, mass outbreaks from when it's our case are bad. Well, there are Pokemon, yeah. Okay. materials. Yeah, um, remember the Pokedex rewards? Yeah, I have a Thunderstone. Which is cool. So in case I want to evolve your Pokemon, I can. Okay, so yeah, I have this as a fly spot. Anyway, wait, what? Okay, sorry. I can't even so go to to make some deliveries, but let's have a quick battle. Iker the Courier. Oh, a Rookity! Um, I don't even use berries, so L plus ratio. Please don't tell me that was his only Pokemon. It was his only Pokemon. Ooh, Nuzzle was good. Ha 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 Very punny. Alright, no, wait, this is just Vespaquen. And this is Corvus Squire. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all learn in a battle? In a battle? Sure thing. All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, PJ, let's have us a fruitful battle. All right, Nimona battle two. Pokemon this time. Alright, 
So first things first, I'm gonna do a lick in the hopes of paralyzing it. Oh no, that is not good. But I have tail whip, so that neutralizes it. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, I'm looking it again. Darn it. Oh, and a crit! I'm doing what puppies always do. My Fido is doing what puppies always do. Get a load of this! Don't slap me. Just for that, I'm gonna tackle you. Nimona's steam goes hard, though. Yeah? I will switch my Pokemon from Tommy. Come on out, Wooper. Alright, he's gonna win this. Go, Wooper! Wow, doing even better than I expected. You're legit, PJ. Here comes your final Pokemon. A Pommy! Battling is a blast. Think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Yeah. She's terrestrializing. Terrestrializing is always a solid strategy. It gives moves of the Pokemon's turret type more power. Except, you're facing off against a whooper. Speedlow, you really work your tight matchups. I can tell how badly you want to win. And you don't! Okay, Pony's level 9. Like, this is not the first time, like... Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Thank you for the money. Amazing! Look at you, taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokémon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. So good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, I was fun to battle you. Here, have some revivals, thanks. Now, Mesa goes as waiting just past this gate, at last, to see where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Alright, here I am. You finally made it, huh? This means it goes up. The biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advanced technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. 
What do you want to see first, PJ? Tasty food. Huh. I don't have you pegged for a big eater. That's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy, right? Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, PJ. There's a few things that I that gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. You know, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. Oh, you know, my personal recommendation, you've gotta see Delibird presents. They sell handy, they sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up to school are no joke. Hey right, then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Woo, I am pumped for some terrestrializing. So this video is actually gonna go on a bit longer. Cause I wanna do some terrestrializing. You know what, forget it. Wait. I have almost filled up an entire box of how many Pokemon they, I have. Plus this shiny zoo world that I found yesterday. All right. Oh, it's this lady. Oh nice, since great deaths to your past. Oh, yes. Crap. Oh, where is this? Kanto. In this previous life, you once tread the grounds of Kanto, I see you and a beloved Pokemon on an adventure in the Kanto region, urging each other onward with a bold let's go. Okay. And there. Okay. The Pika V case. Yes. Scour? You once, in this previous life, you once tread the grounds of Galar. I see you facing down enormous challenges in the Galar region with equally enormous Dynamax Pokemon at your side. Okay. Alright. And now I got the most cursed case in the entire game, probably. Yes. Sinnoh. In this previous life, you once tread the grounds of... Sinnoh! I see you digging beneath the surface of the Sinnoh region itself and dazzling crowds in super contest shows. Okay. See you, thank you. And there. Alright. Pokech case. Yes. In this previous life, you once tread the grounds of Hisui. I see you braving a brave adventure in the Hisui region, an odd phone whipped in your hand. Wait, where is Hisui? I've never heard of it. And there. Alright. The arc phone. Never I've met, I've met one who has lived so widely as you. I'm honored to have divined in your past. So, like, is there an option for... Dang. The music here kind of reminds me of Jubilee Village. Here we go. get it. If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. But we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. I'm gonna help her out. Huh? You want in on this too? You're here to sign up? We'll... Get you next. We'll get to you next. 
You've nearly got this one in the bag. A team star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you know that, right? No. Ugh, another ignorant little nobody. Here I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. Keep watching on that little four eyes over there. I'm gonna make sure this fresh faced nobody ends up seeing stars. Okay. You're challenged by the Team Star Grunt. Here comes the Shrewdle. I hate this little buck too. Also, it's in the floor! Shrewdle in the floor. Oh, it is no longer in the floor. It is no longer in the floor. It is out of the floor. Nice. Go for a leaf fish. Bye bye, Shrewdle. Nice. How come I'm the one seeing stars and the other dude's just laid back like eh. there? Why isn't nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way, he beat you? I mean, I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Uh, it's that student council dweeb is going to report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, PJ. What did I do? You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. That's not really what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have teams have got Team Star written all over you for sure. But you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. Well, that explains it. Tell the student council stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But it's also the perfect chance for you to try out my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. I obtained the Terra Orb. An orb that holds within it the power to crystallize. When it's charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrestrialize. This Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. See, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Spigatito will be a grass type. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of those Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explain it to you. Hey, what? You want this kid to practice boiling on us with this terror Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? <laughs> Never mind. I'll take my chance with the new kid. And take your places and battle! Alright, I'm showing where the team start going. I have a young he has a young youth. I have a Sprigatito. Here in the Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. The people call this terrestrializing. You can terrestrialize your Pokemon by selecting the Terrestrialize button in battle. When a Pokemon terrestrializes, its type changes to its terror type. Moves of the same type as this terror. The type will become more powerful, much more powerful than usual. After terrestrializing a Pokemon once, you won't be able to terrestrialize a Pokemon again until you heal up at a Pokemon Center. So use this strategy wisely to seize victory in battle. All right, terrestrialize and use Magical Leaf. Let's do this. Use magical leaf. 
And there goes the young. And pop goes the weasel. The youngest is a weasel. Mongoose are weasels. Her Pokemon burns so bright. Thanks, PJ. You pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. Most of your Pokemon's terror type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose terror type is totally different from its usual terror type. That difference can open up your strategic options. You gotta charge your terror orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah. Hasta la vista! Me too! Hasta la vista! So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. Hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just, well, thanks. See ya, see ya around. Oh, I'll look at you, PJ. I'm already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think we've s I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. An Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, it seems like the trouble's died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. All right. Here's Uba Academy. Alright. <laughs> Come on. There's a Psyduck. See someone with a rock? Rough. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's sleeping. <laughs> it just turned in its sleep. It just drifted. There's another rock drop and someone with a starly. Anyways, open the door to, doors to the school. Here we are, PJ. Welcome to Uber Academy. This here's the entrance hall. Sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me and those halls off to the side to reach all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. It's the main entrance. Why would you battle in here? Master PJ, Miss Nimona. How do you find your first school commute? You had a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits help with that. She was a true asset to our fine academy. So I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Liable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, PJ? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an easy backpack. That was quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, PJ flexed on him and ran off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try and help, to help the fellow student master, PJ. You might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. Miss Ramona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, Sir Director. A child with the movie backpack, you say. Suppose I'm like for Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, Miss Ramona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jack about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such goings on. You got it, sir. Oh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Class will be starting soon. We're in class 1A PJ. Come on, I'll show you the way. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Jack. Hello, hello everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, oh, me! I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Whisper, whisper. I wonder what they'll be like. 
All right, you can come on in. Did I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure, I'm PJ. Hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Seems like everyone's eager to get to know you, PJ. All right then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, hey, me, can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like everything about Pokemon. Really? Awesome, I'm totally the same. You else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a question. You went through all, all the truck. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill it, PJ. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? You want to complete the Pokedex. I'm glad I got you set up with that Pokedex app if you like collecting that much. Thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, PJ. I'm Mr. Jack, and I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row from the front. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. Be well, Mr. Jack. Get to know the academy campus by exploring it on your own. All right. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna head to the staff room. Oh, hey, Leolo. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, PJ, hey. Who's that? Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got a uh, cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, at, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Now, I know you said you're all about completing the Pokedex, but hear me out. You try to tr reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will. Wow, well, hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here it goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro to your battlers, and those keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, a champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. We reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know? Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Sure happens soon. When our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great, you get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey was to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe? I don't know, yeah, if that's the answer I'm looking for. I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the champion's gym's locations in your map bath in case you decide to go for it. Pokemon gym locations have been added to your map bath. Right, Victory Road. some thought. Oh, that was the Riolu. Alright, now I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. Oh. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Oh, from the lighthouse. 
Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. I don't mind like a steel trap, eh? Why don't you to tell me your name? PJ, right? Most school seems to be talking about you. A new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream reality. What's this dream first? <laughs> Got your interest, have I? You wanna hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise. Fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. Great outdoors, perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad cooking either, I can tell you. Right now I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that can heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. There are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, and will even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. This book, book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's gotta be pretty tough to try and to, even, to grab even a few sprigs. To see, Titans are, well, I think they've gotta be things like this. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact, cool beasts were indeed Pokemon at all, one of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I know it surpassing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawn Fan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of iron. Iron. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. I never hear the other thing until I'm like crawling to that student council girl. Wait, here you waltz up. You gotta help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Okay. Nope, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be time from the map app for you. I like this phone. Let's take this phone case. The Titan's Lairs have been added to your map app. Path of Legends. Let's, let's see then we can get more into the details later. In the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Got to start us. Cool. Give the idea some serious thought, please. Oh, oh, oh there's Zoro. This is PJ, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I can talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry, who are you? My name's Cassiopeia. Never mind that. It's not. To you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer of serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, PJ, you know about Team Star, right? Yes. Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. Cause headaches for school and try to bring other students down to their level. I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to spend for good. I call it Operation Starfall. I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Okay. Now you reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Oh, Master PJ. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? I'll be more careful. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Hey, Weasel. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. A Rotom. 
On you go then, young man. Team Star, you say? Ding dong dong ding. Calling Master PJ to the director's office, please. Once again, Master PJ to the director's office, please. PJ, have you been enjoying your first time here at Uber Academy? Yes. That is most wonderful to hear. I may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. Let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Giga chat! Okay, it's Professor Chur Turo. Hello, PJ. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea at a site known as Area Zero. Okay. The professor is in fact a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. PJ, student ID the number 805C393. You are a student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Mur Muraida, is that correct? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that you are honest in confirming the facts. Ah, not that I I do not mean to offend you. In fact I wish I wish to ask you for your assistance. With what? Hey Muraidon! How do ya? Oh, how good to see that you are well. It's been quite a while since we last met. Gias! Narayanon was once in my care, you see. Okay, well, it's also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin? I'm no longer that position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Narayanon on my behalf? I do appreciate your agreement. Rhino has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. Can, however, take on the form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time before you begin the capabilities you once had. I'll provide you with my contact information if you would please get out your phone. I'll mean regular contact going forward to keep passing your status. Until then. Yes. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Turo, don't tell me you actually did it. Bail. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that new ride on. Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, PJ? Oof, getting into, called into the director's office. How'd you lend in that much trouble already? Nah, kidding, I know it wasn't like that. 
Mr. Jack wanted me to show you the way to your school, your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, PJ. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Ta 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 cha! From today on, this is your room, PJ. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy. Must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on your bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. A little cabinet. A little desk. I have a microwave. Sink. Oh, what's in here? Oh. That's the bathroom. That makes sense. Wait, yeah. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Uba Academy. And then at last the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Ding dong dong ding! Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail. Dong ding ding dong! It's time! I've been waiting forever for this! Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard! Alright. Let's go! I'm ready! I'm pumped! I'm hyped! Let's do this! Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well, man, it's time that I explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all earned much within the walls of our fine academy. Now is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. Trophy is, and get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? What will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. You find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you and you all back after your independent study when you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward! Okay. Also, now you have access to the day and night cycle. Come on, now. It's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclizer. We're riding out. Take care, everyone. Remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. PJ, let's go. Let's, let's go. We're actually getting into the game. PJ, PJ. 
treasure hunt. It's finally starting. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, fair question since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. Treasure hunt is a huge part of the Uba Academy school year. The plan isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. We're just, we're more just making our own adventures to see what experience Pelda has got to offer. You can try to beat the Pokemon gyms, you can help people in, out people in need, you can hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted even. There's stuff we never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? It's our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me are for sure gonna gotta battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Yeah. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Do you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself to destinations? You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'd get you on your way easy. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage? Hey, uh, Arvin? Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. Why do we suggest that he check out the gyms? It's up to PJ where he goes. He's just gonna have his hands full searching out time program on with me. Doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after a champion rank. Me and them are going to be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans and having our Urban Mystica. Um, actually, it's him and I. Grammar error. And see, Don't go filling his head with the weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. Still up to PJ whether he goes, right? Uh, hmm? PJ, your phone's ringing. Hey, PJ. Cassiopeia here. About Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. You need to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's, Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out in the distance. Heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. So no need to worry. Your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base location to your phone for you. Team Star, the Team Star base has been added to your map app. Starfall Street? Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second! Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. Not PJ's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to PJ to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona and Arvin? How do you know my... I'm looking forward to see what you can pull off, PJ. Bye. What was that all about? PJ, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragon knives and dangerous. Anyway, over a weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Then I'll start by having to do a gym and training up some new Pokemon. I also need a pick of what the gym buildings look like. Oh, and. I know we've been running our, our mouths, but it's your call what you do, PJ. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure. Our very own. I mean, that's gotta be my, er, my big dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica, that is. To get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Agias! Uh, what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> well, you're not getting one. Gias, Gias! Seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling me to get on, PJ? Oh. Press the plus button to jump on right on 
you'll find you can get around more quickly. When you're on your iPhone's back, you can press the B button to have a jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in the path. Press the plus button to get, it, get off of the ride on and walk. Transform, now it really looks like some kind of weird side quizzer. As long as you've gotten your eye on, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea is your cloister. <laughs> yeah, maybe. If you're gonna search those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. Because PJ is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. Man, this is why I can't go along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, PJ. Now what? The treasure hunt is finally begun. The special event is held by the Academy to encourage students to set on um, their own room for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as you search for treasure all your own. this episode. I'll see you next time. And yeah, goodbye.